So today in my makeup class, we did dental impressions, and that was weird. to do this before. I've never had like braces or a retainer or anything. So that was a new experience and it was super weird. So like we had to, we had the like dental like mouth guard things and she poured the alginate in them and it was the same alginate that we put on our face and it didn't taste very nice. It's not like minty or anything, it's just gross. And so we had to like put it in our mouth and hold it there for like three minutes. And I have a pretty terrible gag reflex. Like sometimes if I cough too much, I vomit or like if I think about the fact that there's like stuff in my mouth, I vomit. So I had to like focus so hard on not thinking about what was in my mouth. So like when I first put it in, I was kind of like, hum, hum. but then I was like, whatever, okay. And I like got on Facebook and I like was just doing everything I could to not be thinking about it. And then some of the alginate started to like drip down onto my tongue and I was like, hum, 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 hum. and so then I like, I just had to think so hard about anything but that. And like the saliva is like pooling in the bottom of your mouth, but your mouth is like clamped shut with the alginate. It was so weird. And I just focused hardcore on my phone and not what was happening inside my mouth. And then when it was finally time to take it out, that was actually like the hardest part, like getting it off my teeth because it's like suction to your teeth. And then like that was the most gaggy part for me. But I got it out. It's like covered in spit. It was so gross. And then we had to like clean them off and clean them out. Um, and then we poured... The cement in them and then we had to tap them for a really long time to get the air bubbles out um and then we made like a little blob on the counter <laughs> of the like blaster and we just like put them on top of it and let them dry like that and then you just kind of like wiggle the guard and the the alginate off of it and you have this weird perfect sculpted replica of your teeth putting pressure on the front teeth like this my canines are like not you know they're like chipped I definitely just broke one of my back teeth. Sorry, Tim. And now, guys, you need to clean up these trays and get all the plaster and all the alginate off. All. All of it. Okay, guys, we're going to go to the bathroom. Okay, guys, we're going to go to the bathroom. Okay, guys, we're going to go to the bathroom. And now I have that and it's weird and I can build prosthetics that will fit exactly on my teeth, which I guess is cool, but also this is kind of self-esteem boost because I've always had these two teeth here in front, these ones. When I was little, I had, I guess like an overbite maybe, I don't really know, but, but like an outjet maybe is what they called it. But like, so my bottom teeth didn't stop my top teeth from growing. So my top teeth, I kind of had buck teeth. I was like a little child with buck teeth and I had a gap between my teeth. And so, and you're sitting here thinking, what, Liesl? And you never had braces? No, I didn't. My dad made me sit in front of the TV, my finger like this, and push against my teeth. That's a real story. So I pushed my own teeth back into place. It was free. Um, and then maybe like five years ago, my cousin who's a dentist ground these teeth down for me because they were really long and I was really subconscious about it. So he ground them down to me so they were like a more, for me, so they were a more normal size. But I've always still been like, they're so big. Like, ah, I'm just like, it's still kind of ingrained in my brain that I have these really long teeth. But looking at my sculpture today of my teeth, I was like, oh, look at my little teeth. They're so little. So that made me feel better. Anyway, that's what I did today. Ooh, I cannot get warm to save my life. I feel fine. <laughs> and she's always cold and I'm always hot. And today I am freezing. I don't know what's going on. I don't feel sick, I don't feel ill. I just feel cold. Ooh. Oh, girl.
house, guys were talking about lemon lavender crepes. Cause it's National Crepe Day, naturally. Liesl loves lavender flavored things. I love lavender flavored things so much that people think of me when they have anything lavender flavored. Selling them this morning, my cousin Rachel texted me to tell me she'd had a lemon lavender crepe. And I was like, Rachel, it's even National Crepe Day. And she was like, I didn't even know. <laughs> This is amazing. And now I want to recreate this crepe she had. She said it was amazing. So now she's going to have the lemon lavender crepes. I don't do lavender. Blech. We had lavender lemonade at our wedding. He didn't like it. It was really gross. It tasted like drinking a flower. We, I mean, I'm not about that floral life. We also had mint julep. And it was delicious. And we love that. I do love mint julep. So, guys, I feel weird. I don't feel sick per se, but I just feel weird. Like I was so freezing earlier. And now I have like... Pressure head. Yeah, my eyelash. Get it. Uh. I got it. You want to make a wish? Uh. Okay. I wished. I won't tell you. I can't tell you my wish. It won't come true. Like a birthday witch. <laughs> Don't say mm. that last. <laughs> Liesl hears song lyrics very wrong all the time. Should we go through all the things I think are being said in songs? Yeah. Okay, Joe Jonas. D-N-C-E, Joe Jonas, their song about birthday wishes. I thought he said birthday witch. Like a birthday witch. Like a birthday <laughs> witch, like a cackling witch. Like a birthday witch. Which didn't make sense, but I heard it that way. There's an Adele song that she thinks <laughs> says in Okay, but everyone needs to go listen to it now. <laughs> Okay. I think it's the when we when were young. When we were young, and in the background she sings when we were young, but she doesn't enunciate, so it sounds like she's going inebriate. Inebriate. <laughs> it does. It sounds like she's singing. All attest to that. It does sound like she's singing. Because I told him that, and then he heard it the next time he listened to it. Mm -hmm. um, also, when I was little, the sound of music when she's singing the lonely goat herd song, and she says what a duet, like a duet, but she has her accent. What? A duet for a girl and goat herd. I thought she was saying, What have you at? What a duet for a girl and goat herd. Lay -o -lay -o -lo. So now, whenever we talk about eating something, or I ask her, like, what she's eating, I'm always like, What, what have a you duet? At? What have you at? Because that's, n I thought she was speaking weird French. I don't know. But that's, I, even like to this day, I have to consciously think about how those are not the words. <laughs> Um, that new song by those people, I don't even know, the dog one. Who sings that one? Oh, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran sings a song about how he loves the shape of you. I'm in love with the shape of you. And I'm in love with your body, and every time I hear I'm in love with your doggy. I'm in love with your body. <laughs> I'm in love with a sheep dog, too. I'm in love with the shape of you. I'm in love with your doggy. <laughs> So that would be a funny parody if anyone wants to make that yeah. a thing. Um, that song all about dogs. I'm in love with the sheep dog too. My sister will try and tell you that when I was little, I thought Britney Spears was saying in the song Lucky, where do these fleas come at night? Um, this is not true. And she will, I'm sure, tell me I'm lying and that I'm making this up because I'm embarrassed. But I originally thought the lyrics were, she's so lucky, she's a star, but she cry, cry, cries in her lonely car. But she cry, cry, cries in her lonely car, <laughs> Right? Star, car, it rhymes. <laughs> but it's lonely heart. And I told everyone that, and my family thought it was so funny, and they laughed because it was so funny, and I thought it was so funny. So then I just, like propelled this story and kept it going. And so then I added, she cries in her lonely car, why do these fleas come at night? I was just trying to be funny. <laughs> but my sister to this day will still tell you that no, I legitimately thought those were the lyrics. That's all the ones I can think of right now. Is there anything else? No, but she does it a lot. I do. So there will be other I mean, times. new songs will there come will out more. and I will hear, Wrecking Ball. Came in like a rainbow. First time I heard that song, I thought she was saying rainbow, and I was like, what is this song? <laughs> I came in like a rainbow. <laughs> you came in like a rainbow? I don't know. Nobody, nobody uh, pronunciates, enunciates. Enunciate. That's the word. They don't use their diction, these singers. They need to be better at that. They're too famous for that. They can't bother. Okay, we're gonna make crepes. I'm gonna make different flavors. Liesl's gonna make her gross flower flavor. We're gonna eat it. I'm not gonna eat her flower one though. My arm is dying. I'm putting you down. Hi everyone. I'm going to go to bed.
because I don't feel all that great. So I think I just need to sleep it off. Probably. So I'm going to say goodnight. Um, tomorrow we have an ultrasound. Mm -hmm. That's going to be exciting. Love those. Love the ultrasounds. How many weeks are you tomorrow? 22. 22? So she's 22 weeks tomorrow, so we're going to go to the ultrasound. And that's pretty much it. It's going to be good, though. We're excited. We're going to take you along with us and give you an update of our wee babes. Um, don't forget to check out all of our social medias. Down on the bottom, we have a Facebook and Instagram and a Twitter. Also, if you want to follow our cats on Instagram, they have an Instagram <laughs> as well. They do. I'll put that link down below, too. <laughs> so you can have Lionel and Edmund in your lives 24-7. Oh, can we justify this for a second? Yeah. It's because I got two cats, and I knew that people might get sick of me posting my cats on my personal Instagram. So you made your own. So I made one just for the cats. And then the people who cared about seeing my cats could still see them, but the people who didn't care about my cats aren't like bombarded with pictures of my cats. So if you really like our cat, cats, follow them. Follow them on the Instagram. Um, and we hope you have an excellent evening, wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have courage and be kind, and we will see you tomorrow.